Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, and the Nurse Flipper, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is part two of the weekend sales, and I will probably add Tuesday sales onto this as well. So we had $1,300 about Monday. We already have 100 set to go out tomorrow. So this is gonna be the second part, plus Tuesday. So let's take a look. up first and I bought a it wasn't a linen closet but it was a closet full of stuff this jewelry box was in it and it kind of looks raggedy but then I saw it is labeled lady box and so I'll show you some of the inside there there's also ah, drawers not a hat it's a jewelry box messing up my hair in a closet lot it was less than a dollar I didn't pay much for the whole closet the closet was supposed to have a $200 massage chair in it like a liner massage chair somehow mysteriously disappeared before we picked it up in the ocean. but anyway less than a dollar and that jewelry box lady box in so all I did was look up that name and that sold for $40 plus 40 in shipping so $80 somebody is in and that's not even like fancy looking to me it's just like a plain black patent leather it is pretty big um but it sold in less than a month next these are some leather gloves they are vintage you can see the seven made in italy they are fur lined they're pretty nice so I only paid like 50 cents for these except an offer of six dollars because i've had them a little while figured why not they are 10.95 all in these are really easy to ship in little poly this is a uss harry truman hat i got this at a garage sale for a dollar and it sold in less than a month for 11 dollars plus shipping the buyers 15.66 all in so about an eight dollar profit on the corn paintbrush <laughs> So when you find lots of stuff that sells good, it is great. These have been in the profit for over a year and it seems like they're never ending, but we will eventually run out. So these sold for $6 plus shipping, buyers $11.85 all in, and we will make about a $4 profit from those. We have been shipping these in our tubes that we ship our pennants in. This has not been listed a week. I bought a lot of Delft Blue Holland in an auction. And the whole box was less than like 25 bucks. This three inch planner sold for $24.99 plus shipping buyers $40 all in. So this little planner pretty much paid for the lot and you're gonna see another piece sold as well. This is Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. This was from that same auction that I got that last item at and this one sold for $20.99 plus shipping the buyers $28.92 all in I paid about five so this be about a $13 profit after fees there were quite a few makeup items in there and a couple have already sold for over $40 so a lot is in the profit but individually I try and think of what I paid for each item even though the lot is in the profit up next this is a vintage spin shade keep an eye out for these because a lot of the patterns are worth more than this one was this one i paid three dollars for at a thrift store and it sold for 19.99 plus shipping the buyers 30 dollars and 19 cents and just the little tops there are like refills or they could switch them out and some of those will sell for 30 dollars by themselves if they are the right pattern so keep an eye out in the year now but they are 19.95 so good to find them in the box. Up next, this is an Iditarod, which is like snow dog racing. <laughs> Not sure why you call that. Sled racing with the snow dogs. Paid a couple dollars for this hat, sold for $22.49, plus shipping the buyers $29.41 all in. Got this from a high bid auction in Alaska. This is another piece of the Holland Delft Blue. There is your writing this is a little vase and this was in that same lot so i'm only a couple dollars in but the lot's in the profit this one is four inches and it sold for 29.99 plus shipping the buyers 
$45.45 all in on this. There's a ton of Delft blue, but the bigger pieces like the vases and the planner that I just showed can sell for really good money. And these are pretty common, so keep an eye out for those and just search for whatever the item might be because some of it does not sell well. But the vases and the planters do. X is another one of my Halcyon Days little trinket box. This one says grow old along with me. This one is in coordination with Gumps. So again, like before I showed you one from Tiffany's that sold for almost $100. This one sold for $68 plus shipping the buyers $77 all in. And this does have Robert Browning written on the inside. And this is a tiny pillbox over a $50 profit. I did pay 10, so I paid up, um, sold for 68, so 50 bucks profit. Next, this is a little trout book. And I bought a lot of fishing books. One sold on auction for over $300. This one just sold for $3.50. But when I buy those lots, I do try to list pretty much everything in it. So that lot obviously is very much in the profit. It's going out for $3.50. Buyers $7.29 all in. Up next, this is B&K Faucets. This was like in a new old stock lot from an auction. So less than a dollar in. It sold for $13.49 plus shipping. The buyers $21.34 all in on Next, and I got two. I paid two dollars for these. Gotta do my little. Two dollars for these at the thrift store, and one sold on Facebook for ten dollars plus shipping, and the other one sold on eBay for nine ninety nine plus shipping. So about six to seven dollar profit on both, and these are really easy to ship. Both of these say Raymond James for the stadium, and they both sold after the Bucks won the game. This is a little longer burger basket. So this one is 2003 Hostess Appreciation. Has the little, like, button top there. This one does not have a liner, or like the plastic or a fabric liner, but this one still sold for $40. Plus shipping the buyers $51.96, all in on a little Keep an eye out for Long Burger and look them up. Up next is this little turtle. This is a Build-A-Bear turtle with the little shell backpack. Paid a dollar for him. He sold for $8.77 plus shipping the buyers $21.29 all in. I think he is going to weigh more than a pound. That's why I charge the higher shipping. This is a vintage Mackinac Island, Michigan pennant. And this is a pretty cool um, person actually wrote me and said they are making like a historical display and this pennant is going to be part of it. They sent me an offer of $18.99 and I accepted. They are $26.49 all in. So kind of cool to find stuff that is going in historical displays. This is a tiny little vintage handkerchief. Really cute. Paid less than a dollar and it sold for $6.50. Plus I think the buyers $10.45 all in. If you want easy to ship, easy list, vintage handkerchiefs and ephemera are two great items to do. And I will make about a $5 profit on that. This is a Montana Silversmith. If you don't know that name, watch out for buckles and belts. But these my friend Pepper had and we just traded them. So the buyer sent me an offer of $14 on this one, which I accepted because I'm not really much into it. She was $15.72 all in, and then I had a send offer to watchers pop up, and I assumed it was probably the same person for the black one. And she wrote me and said, if I accept your offer, will you combine shipping? I told her I would be glad to, and she is a little over $35 all in on the two. Now we will take a look at what is going on on Tuesday. All right, guys, it is Tuesday now, and... Yesterday surprised me. Um, the sales have been great, which is awesome because the pretty new shed we have needs electricity installed, which will be about $500. Also needs flooring to the tune of about $1,200. And insulation and walls are going to be way more than both of those put together. So glad we're getting sales because I would love to get some of this done. I know a lot of you are commenting, but I will let you know it will probably be a month, maybe two months, and it could be even longer 
because I do not want to put any of this on credit. I want to pay it for cash out of the business, so it's going to take some time. Um, all the while trying to pay off the shed as well. And we have to pay ourselves and my mom for helping. So, anyways, $757 going out on Tuesday is amazing. Probably the best Tuesday shipping we have ever had. That is only eBay. There are also a couple of Facebook and I think one more car sales. So let's take a look at what is going out. This is a wool blanket. Let me find the tag so you guys will know what to look for. So this is Churchill Weavers. And the cool thing is it says our best wishes from the governor of Kentucky. So I paid a couple bucks for this at a, I think at a thrift store, I can't remember thrift store garage sale. Sold for $38 plus shipping, the buyer is $53 all in. And this is a small lap blanket. It is only like 38 by 46. So it's really small and it will be over a $30 profit. Next, and these are almost sold out. I think I have two left and I bought like 12. So, and it hasn't even been a month. This is another longer burger basket. So this is what they call a tie on it's like an accent for the baskets and then this lid has this cool leaf on it so here again longa burger are marked and this one had paperwork with it so that's how i knew what it was there you go 2001 pumpkin patch basket if if i did not know what it was i would have looked on google lens to identify because you want to be able to identify these baskets um, in order to get the most money. So I paid $10 for this basket and it comes with the lid, no liner, and it sold for $38 plus shipping the virus, $52 and one cent all in. And that brings me to a point. I wrote this down yesterday. So our average sales price in January was $47. That is amazing for the last 90 days it was 34 dollars, so we increased it 13 dollars per sale and we've got over 200 dollars sales or <laughs> over 200 sales for the month so take that 13 and multiply it by 200 that is just incredible december's average sales price was only 28 dollars. so from last month to this month i've increased the average sales price to up by 18 dollars and 41 cents I'm really trying to source higher priced items and I am trying to leave lower priced items there which is very hard because for me that is like walking past five and ten dollar bills however if those items aren't really fast selling I would rather have them be 40 and 50 dollar items so I think I'm doing well with that and our average sales price is really up so I'm super happy about that Next, and this sold over on Facebook Marketplace. This is the Pillsbury Doughboy. I'll put a picture up over this, but this is the Pillsbury Doughboy blanket. I got in a blanket lot and I paid less than a dollar. Sold on Facebook Marketplace less than a day after listing for $40 plus shipping. That is going to be over $35 profit on a throw blanket. That is vintage from the 1990s, which does make a little bit of difference. And it's Pillsbury Doughboy. Next. And this was in my auction haul video. This bowl here. I bought the lot. This was in for this. So if you see, this is Linux. And it says on it, Autumn. That's the pattern. And here it says Autumn Octagonal Bowl Large with 24 karat gold. So all I had to do, they, luckily this auction showed the bottom. I looked that up and knew this bowl was worth a ton of money. This sold in less than a week for $84.99. I am under $5 into this bowl. It's over a $70 profit. The buyer is $108.49 all in. So for all of my friends, yes you, that don't think you can ship breakables for $70 profit in one item, I think you can figure it out. So. This stuff is all over the place. People pass it by and there's a lot of money to be made in breakable items.
this teeny little crock pot um i paid a couple bucks for this at a thrift store and this sold over on mercari for 15 dollars. so we'll make about 10 dollar profit on this little guy and i did test it and make sure that it worked up next if you i can't see if you're new this is the head to a cpr training mannequin so i'm out of the mouse that go over this hole and so they're not complete complete a set of five sells for over two hundred dollars so i have a bunch of those heads without the mouth and these chest pieces this is what you push on to practice cpr and i only originally had forty dollars into a ton of these i have made over two thousand dollars on them so i still have these parts left i listed them on ebay as like a replacement chest piece and these three sold for $119. It is free shipping, but I think shipping will only be about $20. So that's going to be close to an $80 profit after fees. So watch for CPR stuff. I have had a couple of my viewers tell me that they saw it out at garage sale, so you could see it as well. You've seen this before, and I messaged the buyer last time because this kit... Let me find the paper. So this is the kit here. It says poppies. It is a Ram 2012, so it is not vintage. It's a tapestry pillow kit. And I sold this before for $200. And then when I opened it, my mom didn't tell me this, this is my mom. I noticed it was already started, which decreases the value. It's not finished, it's not new. And I've had it backlisted because the original buyer said, no, I don't want it since it's already started. And there's, you know, quite a bit of it is started. So somebody sent me an offer yesterday of $100.28. Not sure where their $0.28 cents went in, but I went ahead and accepted it. If they're new, they sell for $200 to $300, some of them even higher. They are from the UK. I think that's why. So not as easy to find here in the U.S., buyer is $118.40 all in on that. That was Dalton Mickey Mouse who randomly talks and it's kind of freaky. Nobody's in here except for me right now. I got this at an auction. It is not marked. It does have this cork that I really don't think even fits it. I think it's just for looks. So I just put um, vintage handmade Mexican water jug and I do have another one of these. I I picked up a couple so I had been getting inquiries over on Facebook marketplace about this but nobody purchased it so this actually ended up selling at full price which was $44.99 plus shipping the buyers $72.64 all in and I paid $12 so about a $30 maybe a little bit less profit after fees on that jug and it's not marked you have to kind of I think get a little more confident with the breakables before you can really push listing the items that are not marked because after listing so many i kind of know really good keywords that'll get my items found and help them to sell so your keywords are key with unlisted items you want to think of anything that that person might search for if they're looking for your item next and i will give a shout out to kevin commonwealth picker on this one this is a copper pan. It is, I don't know if I can get it where you can see it. It is a Revere Wear. I can kind of see it there. And it has the brass handle. This is only a two quart pan. I paid $4.99 for this at my little local thrift store two days ago. It sold for $50 plus shipping and buyers $65 all in. That is over a $40 profit in less than a day. As my friend Kayla the Holmes Clue Picker likes to say, don't miss, don't miss the pots and pan section. There's tons of money to be found. You can tell picking up pans, obviously you can see copper pans, but picking them up you will be able to tell which are heavier and better made and then you can look for the name brand and comp them out is another little longa burger basket so this one i put heart this one does have the tag 2005 hostess appreciation and has the little heart tie on has the lid and this one does have the liner both plastic and fabric 
So this one sold for $29 plus shipping. The buyer's $39.78 all in. Did pay $10. Again, I would pay up for some of these because they sell good and they sell fast. And this will be probably about a $15 profit for us after these. And not easy, or not easy. It's not hard to ship either. Up next, and there are two of these. And one sold on Facebook within a day. The other sold on eBay within two days. So, this is a really cool hand-blown paperweight. And it is Golden Flow Studios, 23 karat gold in there. American hand-blown. Luckily, this one had the sticker. Because this one did not. So, I got two of them. I got these along with a little trinket box. There's a vase behind Sir Andrew, but I'm not going to get a really cool vase as well. She wanted $20 for these two. And honestly, they're probably worth it, but I don't want to pay $20. So I had these two at a really cool trinket box from India, and I had a really pretty Murano type glass vase. And I told her instead of $20 for both, if she would give me my pile for $20, which was these two and the other two items that I would do it. And she accepted. So the one that is not branded sold on ebay for $17.49 so i would say i'm probably about five dollars into each of these so about a ten dollar profit and the one that is branded sold for twenty dollars plus shipping on facebook so that one is about a twelve dollar profit so both of them sold in less than two days really good unique paperweights and some this one's cool because it's hand blown of course it has gold but um, some paperweights are signed on the bottom and can be worth hundreds of dollars. So you see unique paperweights, I would check those out. This is a cute little brass trinket box with the jewels. I paid only a couple dollars for this. It was in a trinket box lot and it does open up there. And I did show the condition of this, but some people like that kind of weathered look. So I did not mess with it. I sold for $15 plus shipping the buyers 20 all in and that took about eight months to this is a little mop pad and this was in a linen closet I bought in an online estate auction I bought the whole linen closet it was in there sealed pennies into that it sold for $12.49 plus shipping buyers $19.18 and so that will be about a $10 profit next this is a Munster High doll and I paid a dollar for her her hair is like a hot mess I don't bother with fixing their hair if they're only going to sell for like 10 bucks because it's not worth my time so that is exactly what this one sold for ten dollars plus shipping it took about six months i got her for a dollar at the flea market and i used google lens to identify who she was so i always pick up monster high dolls if you can get them for like a dollar or two because they're typically pretty good sellers this, this scarf it's an infinity scarf so if you see circle scarves like this it can be worn out not putting it on or <laughs> like that and I have less than a dollar into that it sold for $12.49 plus shipping buyers $16.69 all in and that took about six months to sell this is a little book I got this at a yard sale in a stack I'm less than 50 cents and I listed everything some of it was worth more some was worth less this is one of the ones that was worth less sold for $4.50 plus shipping buyers $10 all in some of you might wonder why I show this and if you've been watching me a while you know I do make videos only showing the higher price stuff if that's all you're interested in but my reality as a reseller is that I list these lower items and they add up um I do not think it's below me to list five and ten dollar items if they're in lots I am trying not to hand pick them individually but if I buy a big lot of items for one expensive one I'm still going to list those lower cost items because they add up this is a craft world book again this is same thing pennies in it's got this little dog and it says book one crafty goes around the world another four dollar and fifty cent sale plus shipping buyers 907 all in so again, $757 going out on a Tuesday, which is amazing. We did over $650 yesterday. We're almost up to $200 today. And sales have been amazing. And I'm so happy because the shed stuff is going to add up. 
you guys will see a couple of clips of the shed coming up after this don't forget the members only live is coming up on monday so if you're not yet a member hit that join button check it out and i hope to see you guys on monday on the members only live i hope you have a great weekend i appreciate you watching let's look at the shed all right guys so for today's update the shed is now let's pull this out in place um it is a little closer to the house than i wanted it um but it's where it is <laughs> um we couldn't go too far back because this tree here um i wanted to give it a little bit of space so i have i'll zoom in i have a stump grinder coming to get rid of this today because i want to let me pull back up um i want to make in here a little courtyard so we will fence from there to there and all of this will be closed in so i don't want this here we've been cutting it back and it just keeps coming back and then since he is coming i also over here on the side of the house between my house and my son's there there's that old tree there so i figure since he's coming we'll have him do both so yeah so we will put a fence from the shed to the house and then this will all be a little courtyard area um we've got really pretty these flowers have probably been here since the 1940s and i'm thinking maybe do some landscaping in front of the house and in front of the shed and just make this nice um the electrician came i have not got estimates i did get an estimate for insulation but i have not um yet gotten the electric so electric has to come first before we can do anything else so right now this is sitting here and we can't do anything with it so that is our shed update of the day